All the dry weather, Grace Anello joining us now, uh, noticing the leaves really starting to change here recently. How close are we to getting to peak fall foliage here in North Alabama? We are knocking on the door of peak Taylor, so our official peak is coming the end of October, the 1st of November, so we're getting there any minute. Now, is this whole fall foliage thing giving you deja vu? If not, if you don't remember the conversation, do you at least remember this beautiful picture from Montesano State Park from one week ago? This is what the trees and leaves looked like from the overlook exactly eight days ago. Mostly green, intermittent pops of color, but a whole lot of change in the air. The big question is, what does it look like now? What do you say we head outside and take a look? With just one week of difference, look how different Montesano State Park is looking from where we were just seven days ago in this exact spot. At that point, we saw mostly green with one or two yellows and oranges behind me. Right now, what we're looking at is mostly maroons with plenty of red and orange. Now, those colors are brought about by the chemical anthocyanin, which is brought from cooler temperatures coming into the forecast. The other thing that's really helped our fall foliage, the especially dry autumn that we've been having. Now, a cold front is moving through on Monday, and that will drop our temperatures significantly, bringing up how much anthocyanin we'll see in our leaves and therefore how vibrant our colors will be. The other thing that's going to help is the date on the calendar. November 1st is the peak for fall foliage in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee, and we're nearing that date. If you have any pictures from out and about of the beautiful leaves and colors of autumn, be sure to send them to us. We would love to see autumn through your eyes.